Who the hell is Jimmy Gibbs Jr.? I heard of Jimmy Gibbs. That man's a stock car legend. I'm getting sick of looking at this guy's face. Well, trust me. In these parts, he's as famous as... Elvis. Or the president. Really? Because he looks like an asshole. Get your ass moving, Nick. Well, we are back. We died. Annoyingly. Uh, hmm. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, a scattered thing. I really like the sniper rifle, so I don't know, I might keep it. We'll see. Okay, let's go. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Fire bullets here! Deploying fire bullets! I'm not playing now. Let's start some fires, people! So much for the rescue. Any ideas? Yeah, I'm not getting a strong we're getting rescued vibe here. No, hell no. Cedar's not gonna save us. Any ideas? Actually, I've been thinking. So I've just been thinking Jimmy gives stock cars around here somewhere. We just gotta find it, gas it up, and I'll drive that thing to New Orleans my damn self. I think the little guy's onto something. Let's give it a shot. Now remember, they don't fill up these tanks at car shows, so we gonna have to find some gas. As soon as them doors open, you run your ass off and find some gas. Let's get some gas! One of those little jockey bastards is running. Don't I 
got it. Reloading. Got it. Just two more. Let's go. Hold up, y'all. I'm going to heal Thanks, you. Thanks, I owe one. <sighs> Cover me. I got it. Oh. It's all okay. We are going.
Alright, so that's apparently the um, single player. Or at least one of them. Incredibly difficult. Fairly fun. Uh, I do not care for zombies whatsoever. Um, yeah, right, that works too, I suppose. Um, well, I, I was going to say, uh, the science that people have, have said that is behind zombies is, is kind of stupid. Um, whether they are you know dead or alive, I don't really know. Like, it, it's theoretically possible that a, a a parasite could attempt to take over a brain and, and the motor function of a body, uh, but more often, um, <coughs> I think what's more reasonable is. Uh, Already, we we know from the medical world that uh, you can have various kinds of seizures. Uh, I have personally seen the typical seizure where someone just shakes uh, uncontrollably, and it's a little bit unnerving to watch. Uh, I've also seen what's called an absent seizure, and that is quite the opposite of shaking, it's just they, they kind of seize up but they don't shake, it, it's just the person becomes rigid. Uh, and I don't know how true this is, but from the TV show House MD, they have suggested that uh, it is possible to have, I think it's more correctly called a complex partial or perhaps just a complex seizure. I, I think more commonly it's a complex partial seizure where it's not a, a full-on seizure, they're not shaking, it's... but you may not actually notice possibly that they are indeed having a seizure. Uh, it's also uh, from one episode, actually, and I, I just watched this one not long ago, um, is, actually, I just happen to have the folder up, Season 6, Episode 16, Lockdown, uh, where a baby is taken from a patient's room, and the hospital locks it down. And, spoiler alert, the reason for that is one of the, you know, I think, housekeeping staff members... She's been having complex seizures all day, and wasn't really in her mind. She's just, like, she's there, she's operating, but kind of on autopilot. She is not really there, but she's still working, which is pretty cool. So if that is a, a real thing, which it may be, I, I don't really know. I've heard there are some inaccuracies on that show, but then again, it's also, you know, it's a TV show, so there you go. Um... Given that there are some inaccuracies on that, uh, I don't know how reliable it is, but uh, if you want to look it up, by all means, go for it. You know, more knowledge is, is always a good thing. Uh, so, in theory, if if you were to have, say, this type of uh, complex partial seizure, where you do run on autopilot and you don't actually know what you're doing, uh, that could be kind of like... You know, zombie-ish, uh, but not really hungering for, you know, eating someone's brain or anything like that. Uh, it's just kind of working on autopilot, like I said. So, kind of interesting. Uh, as for the mutation stuff that you saw in, in these three episodes, where, you know, some are just kind of trying to murder you, uh, and even on, on like other zombie shows where it's, it's a mutation or, or it's a dead body <coughs> uh, being taken over by, say, a virus or anything like that, it's really quite unlikely that 
it would ever be possible to have a dead body reanimated by any kind of bacteria, virus, or parasite. Um, once death occurs, uh, generally what happens is uh, the body will start to uh, degrade. You know, just like a, a piece of meat, uh, you know, you go to the store, uh, pick up a, a steak and try to animate it, it's not going to do much. So, in just the same way, after uh, death occurs, you're not going to get very much movement. Now, that's not to say it's impossible to get a dead body move, to move. Uh, rigor mortis, I believe it's called, does have some really interesting effects. Um, you know, fingers can uh, move or, or bend or straighten, and they do so forcefully. Uh, and you cannot move you know, the, the joints. Uh, Apparently, it's even possible for a dead body to sit upright with this rigor mortis. It's just simply the degradation of the correct muscles at the right time and working together, it can make a body sit upright. So, but then again, that is not active movement, it's just muscles tighten and contract, therefore giving the illusion of movement, well, I say illusion, it, it is movement, but uh, it's just nothing's really there, nothing is going on, it's just the muscle contracting by itself because it's degrading and dying and, and it just does that. Um, kind of like a cramp, just by itself, right? So, a little bit of medical stuff there. So the, the whole zombie thing, um, no, that's, that's just really dumb. Uh, I, mean, I don't think there's any possibility of that ever happening. You know, some people are, are saying, oh, the zombie thing is going to be real. No. First off, if anyone ever thinks, oh, it's going to be real and there's going to be corpses from, like, long dead and buried cemeteries uh, rising up through the ground. Well, do you have any idea what actually goes into burying a body? You have the body in the coffin. The coffin is typically nailed shut. The coffin is then uh, buried under six feet of dirt, but it is also encased in concrete. And then the concrete has sealant around it. So... Even in. <coughs> um, also, Mythbusters did this. Uh, being buried alive, and they actually, I believe they put Adam in a coffin and buried him in this uh, raised tank that they could just release and uh, get him out in about two minutes, which is pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> and. Once you are in the coffin, there's a lot of dirt, even just that by itself, there's a lot of dirt that is put on top, six feet, generally, uh, and that is quite heavy. It's, it's put in, packed down, more or less, uh, and then seated over, and then you get the headstone, so there you go. Uh, so having a body rise up from the grave is absolutely impossible. Uh, even just without the concrete in, involved, uh, being able to claw through a coffin is incredibly unlikely. Now, you, not impossible if it's wood, but like I said, it's not just dirt. Generally what happens, at least here in Canada, I don't know about the US, uh, but I believe we in Canada have uh, different regulations for how to bury a body. And to do that, like I said, a coffin encased in concrete, concrete is sealed, and then the whole thing is uh, 
put six feet under. So it's absolutely impossible to get out of that. Uh, and also the, the chances of actually being buried alive is absolutely impossible. There's no way that you could be buried alive because by the time that happens, uh, you'll have likely gone through autopsy and uh, an interesting thing, apparently dead bodies don't bleed. There's blood in them, yes, but they do not actively bleed. Like you, you prick your finger, blood flows out. Um, that doesn't happen so much with body, like with dead bodies. It's kind of interesting. So, once you get into autopsy, what, generally depending on what the problem is, uh, if the chest is cut open, if they start going through the chest and blood starts pouring out, you're not dead. That actually happened on House Empty. Uh, someone made it all the way to autopsy, and he wasn't quite dead. Almost. Uh, but Hart was still going just enough, undetectable by EMTs. They assumed he was dead. Turns out he wasn't. So, if that were to happen, they would find out in autopsy, or at the start of, that you're not dead. And even if you weren't and they continued, because maybe they're unobservant, you won't be alive for much longer, because autopsy is a very invasive thing. Uh, because obviously, it's a dead body, you don't have to worry about preserving life in a situation like that. Uh, and then, usually, if, if it's not done at autopsy, it's done at the funeral home, embalming. Uh, they pump out all the blood, replace that with embalming fluid. If the autopsy didn't kill you, that would. So... By the time that happens, and there's so much more involved in uh, preparing a body for burial. Uh, I'm not going to go into the specifics of that because it is a little bit gruesome. Uh, but, you know. Needless to say, having a dead body reanimate is simply impossible uh, using the methods that we currently have and, and even have for the past. I'm sure several hundred years. Uh, so. There's no chance of any zombie thing you know, coming up from the grave. And as for taking over a, li uh, a living body, I don't know. I feel like psychosis may be a more realistic thing that might happen that might turn someone into a zombie, but they're still not really zombie, they're just psychotic. Well, that's a, a pretty reasonable thing to have happen. Um, but, yeah. So, all in all, I don't really care too much for these zombie games. It's you know, Shooting is, is fun, I don't mind that. Uh, the challenge of doing various things, finding your way through these areas while everything around you is trying to murder you. Yeah, I don't mind that too much. So, this game, I've put apparently about two hours into it, and it's not too bad, so, you know, it's fun enough. But anyways, uh, as for, you know, horror games, I don't care too much. You know, things that jump out at you. Now, there's jumping involved here. It can sometimes be dark, but it's not really horror. It's just zombie shooting game. So there's a little bit of a difference, I guess. Um, <coughs> so, zombie stuff in general, I don't really care. Uh... This game, though, not bad. It's entertaining enough. Uh, well, now, I have played mostly with the sniper rifle. I did have a, a faster shooting gun uh, towards the start. That worked well. 
I uh, kind of wish I hadn't actually switched out because I didn't know I was so close to the end and when I switched out my sniper rifle for the one with full ammo. I probably could have gotten by with just the pistols. Uh, but the sniper rifle is nice because you can zoom in. Uh, other guns have other benefits for being able to fire more rapidly and just kind of take out a, a full area very quickly. So that's not too bad. Uh, the uh, I think it's called the boomer bile, the, the green vomit stuff that you can throw. That is a really interesting uh, game element. Uh, being that you can actually attract the zombies to a specific area. So that's really fascinating. You, you can do that, attract them, and then they may not necessarily go after you. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so like I said, interesting game element. I think it would be worth looking into other things. So yeah, that'd be cool. But anyways, I'm going to end this here. Uh, I have played the game. I have done a little bit of it. And it's interesting. It is a game. I do not take any of this you know, seriously. It's a game. I, I, you know, some people are, are really worried and you know, they, they think, oh, zombie apocalypse is coming. I need to be prepared for this. Like, really? There's other things to be better prepared for. Uh, you know, zombies rising is not one of them. Nor is, I think, zombies uh, assimilating live humans either. So, but anyways, it's an interesting game. I might play more of it later.